Good evening, this is Jim, AG6IF. We're going to run through flashing broadband hamnet mesh network, a ubiquity nano station M2. I've connected it to my machine here. This is the second one I'm doing. <coughs> through my PoE adapter here. Powered it up. Set your computer first of all to a static IP of 192.168.1.22 will work. The ubiquity standard is 1.20. Uh, so the standard configuration on the ubiquity nano station M2 is 1.20. You just need to get your machine in the same subnet. So I just use 1.22. Okay, you get the login page when you hit it with your browser. <coughs> Default passwords, UBNT. Username and password, same. UBNT. And we're going to log in here. And this is the next screen that you'll see. And come over to system and again I'm converting the software in here to use it with broadband hamnet <coughs> mesh networking okay I'm gonna go to um, well previously I've downloaded the firmware for the ubiquity nano station so I have that loaded on this machine already so you want to go out to the Broadband Hamnet website, the software downloads, and download the latest software. Right now it's 3.00. So you come in here, hit browse. We're going to put, it's the uh, factory. Because it's the factory software that's running in there. If you want to upgrade one later, you'll use uh, the file names like sys upgrade so we're going to grab the factory file and hit open okay all right now come over here to the upload but you do not want to interrupt this once you do this please wait uploading firmware all right get a warning message be familiar with the recovery procedure. Hopefully we won't need that. I'm going to hit update. Alright. Firmware is being updated. So we just want to sit quietly and wait don't disrupt anything don't disconnect any cables don't do anything <laughs> unit itself you notice the lights wig wagging there while this happens then it'll reboot Once this is finished, sometimes the browser will give you an error message. Other times, it'll tell you to reboot it. I just always wait to make darn sure that it's uh, it's finished. Never quite sure. You don't want to do anything to disrupt this. The bar is still moving. Now, from experience, the lights look like it's done. <coughs> See, I got one green on the left. The other one's my link light. It's flashing a little bit, so. But I still do not disrupt this process. <laughs> and we're watching this bar here.
Also, make sure that your laptop or your computers, if it's a laptop, make sure your battery is fresh or your or you're plugged in. You don't want to, again. You don't want the machine to suspend or shut down or anything like that while you're while this is happening. <coughs> She'll break. You can break the unit. Break the unit. It says, please wait updating firmware. So, uh, definitely want to just wait. Sometimes an error message will pop up like that. Other times it won't. It just kind of depends. So, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. The, the unit hasn't changed its condition. Okay, so what I do next is I go back to DHCP mode on my uh, on my computer. Do that however you do that. I'm using Linux. Windows will be a different, slightly different process. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to DHCP, and then what I do is I disconnect the network cable briefly. You want this to kind of get a, re, a, a new connection here, so I'm just going to pull that out. <clears throat> and I wait. I might not have had to do that, but I usually wait, so. The network says it's disconnected. Okay, I'm going to plug it back in now. And I have a little command window here I can look at. My network status. All right, now well, we got an address. Now we go, we point ourselves at, uh, let's see, local node, colon 8080. That's the one you want right there. Okay, so now we're talking to the new firmware. As you can see, when it first comes up, there's no call. We need to put a call sign in here. Since I'm setting this up for a friend, this is gonna be his call sign. So you go to the setup button. Okay, and if it prompts you for a password, um, it's root HSMM, it's a standard password. And we want to put call sign in here. I have a strategy that I use here <clears throat> whenever I build one. So I use a call sign and I use a zip code, and then a number. Almost like a, you'd think like an APRS, the 01, 02, 03. So it's going to be 02. This is his second ubiquity unit. This is KJ6FUW's unit. And I put his password in here. You have to put it in twice. And no, it's not asterisk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Password in twice, got the name. Save changes. Okay. You can remember the password or not. Units rebooting. When it comes up in mesh, broadband hamnet mesh node, it'll have uh, some different lights. It'll have the red light in the center on, and the two on the, on the ends will be green. So it's rebooting right now. It's about, uh, I don't know, it says 60 seconds on the screen, but it might be, it could be a little faster than that, but it's still uh, coming up now, working on coming up.
there we go there's a red light give it a few more seconds and that's how the lights come up for the uh, HSMM broadband hamnet mesh on the ubiquity nano station M2 all right well, we should be able to go back in here let's try the link I usually put in local node colon 8080 but we'll just see if the link will work sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't Okay, I typed in uh, back to our starting point, local mode, colon 8080. You can go to the status page here. I might have rushed it a little bit. I'm not 100% sure it's up all the way yet. I didn't do this this time, but it's, it's always uh, probably better to disconnect your network and reconnect it. Just make sure you get a clean address and, and all that. So I'm going to do that now because it's since this browser page didn't come up. So pull that out. Wait for my machine to recognize it's gone. There it goes. And we'll plug it back in. Okay, DHCP, and now it's uh, now we're clean again. All right, so here's our second one. Uh, looks like it's working. I already have a mesh node running here, so if I hit mesh status, it should be registering in with my uh, existing nodes, my Raspberry VoIP phone system, all that good stuff. So that is from start to finish how you do a Nano Station M2. For broadband hamnet and putting the 3.0.0 code on there broadband hamnet website is where you get the code and I'm pretty sure that that's all I can show you here's uh, the, the normal lights with the uh, unit up and running <coughs> got greens on both ends red in the center. The other green one is my link light. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, thank you for watching. This is Jim, AG6IF in Southern California. I'm listening into the trivia net on the Keller Peak Repeater tonight in the background. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. 7-3. Let's get our mesh node set up. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Take care.